Hi everyone. Today we will see about uh, the automatic PO creation. That how uh, we can create auto PO in the SAP MM. And based on that, uh, this having certain uh, prerequisite uh, for that particular topic, uh, in which uh, we do have some uh, requirement in the middle master, as well as in the business partner or in the vendor master. And this having sub certain prerequisite more like uh, source list and uh, the info record that uh, these four things are mandatory and based on that what we will do we will create an independent requirement and uh, we will run the MRP so that the PR will generate after that uh, by using that particular PR we will try to uh, you know auto convert into the PU so let's start with the process so for that sake uh, what we have to do first of all first of all the thing is we will have to do we will have to go for mm02 i will let you know that what are the uh, prerequisite that we have to do in the metal master so basically in the purchasing view i will select the mrp view as well i will let you know that what are the uh, data I used to uh, much used to fill over here so in the purchasing view the automatic PO it has to be ticked else you will not be able to create uh, the auto PO after that in the MRP one it is mandatory to have the uh, you know MRP type that 3D because uh, we do not use to select the ND because uh, we do have to do the planning right now so that's why I have selected the PD and if you are doing with the reordering point that means the, if you are filling this data reordering point you must have to select the VV uh, so based on that uh, we do have the different different department but currently we will look uh, into the PD itself after that uh, we do have the MRP data it must have the external procurement uh, if if it is has the external procurement then only it will allow us to uh, procure from the external sources like external vendor if it is having the in-house production so system it will not allow us to purchase from the outside right after that in the MRP view uh, the strategy group is must if we will not create the strategy group system will not allow me to generate the source list uh, at the time of uh, creating the source list system will throw an error that is strategy group has not yet been maintained so these are the some prerequisite that we have to do uh, in the metal master and as well as I will show you in the window master itself So obviously in the purchasing view we will have to go and we must have to check see the automatic view it has to be ticked uh, without that uh, see what we have did we will have we have did uh, first of all we have did the tick in the middle master as well as in the window master that the automatic view it must have to tick else the system will not allow us to create right after that what we have to do based on that particular uh, material or the vendor we will have to create a source list uh, slash uh, decode is me01 and the plant is dp02 see the source list is valid from let's create uh, it is the valid from 25th and the vendor we have selected and see here in the mrp we will have to select that record relevant to MRP if we will select the two system will not generate the PR it will directly generate the schedule one and just save it as I have told you that after the creation of source list we have to create the purchase info record as well so as I have already created the purchase info record based on that particular vendor and uh, uh, you know material so I will show you MA12 I think uh, it's it is it is DC purchasing organization one the data you can check it out also you can check it out the purchasing organization two data as you wanted to check and as well as the source list you can check it out see the source list has been maintained that I have showed you right now that whatever the source list and uh, that has been maintained with the particular vendor. So based on that, uh, after that, we will follow the next step. 
after that what we used to do generally we used to create an uh, requirement so that uh, will have will run the mrp and the pr will generate right also we can do manually we can create the pr but here if i am creating the pr automatic uh, sorry pu automatically why should not create the pu pr as well so we do have a t code of md61 to create an internal requirement these are the material what i'll do and uh, i'll do the planning for the 3 days in the day format i'll select it send uh, uh let's suppose 2000 quantity here i need 2000 quantity here i need 2000 quantity here i need on the 26 26 and 27 right the requirement has been saved and one more thing i i think i have not showed you over here uh, let me show you over here again once again slash in mm03 the uh, for that particular material i have maintained the uh, you know safety stock as well yeah 1001 quantity is for safety stock because the safety because the 1001 quantity has been available over here that's why i have maintained uh, the you know so uh, safety stock if you wanted to check i'll let you, i'll just check it slash in mmb is a key code and just go through it you can check it out see as we can see that this having 1001 quantity is available over here that's why i have maintained the safety stock is 1000 now as i have created the requirement for 25th on the 25th we required 1000 2000 quantity 25th and uh, 26 and 27 we do have the requirement of certain quantity as you can see uh, here md62 Twenty fifth, we do have two thousand. Twenty sixth, we do have two thousand quantity, and twenty seventh, we do have the requirement of two thousand quantity that I have created over here. So based on that, what I have to do, I'll mention the same into the Excel sheet as well. Sorry, Word file as well. Two thousand quantity. So two thousand quantity that we need on the two three days. So let's check out whether it is working or not. So we do have a T code of. MD03 to run the MRP. The same material. What is the position? Correct. First of all, we will display what are the data used to come. I think something has been missed. So let's check it out. The MMB. Uh, where it is? Yeah, actually, it is having one uh, on order stock is one thousand, ah, twenty seven thousand. What I will do? Not to worry, less than M D sixty two. Just go to M D sixty two. And what are the requirement we do have? D date format and um, just enter. I'll increase the requirement. No issue. Thirty thousand. Let's suppose thirty thousand. I need, and here I need twenty-five thousand. Here I will need also twenty-five thousand. And just increase the requirement. And just save it. Now slash in. Go uh, to MD zero three. MD zero three. The same we have to run again. One three. First of all, display result prior saving. Now, as you can see, uh, because we do have uh, the on order stock is twenty seven thousand on that time. So, what the system had did uh, for the twenty fifth, the system has generated the requirement of two thousand quantity, right? After that, uh, the one in twenty six is twenty five thousand and twenty seven is the twenty five thousand that we have created at the time of. Uh, you know, uh, in the requirement itself. So right now, what I have to do? 
Till now, the PR has not yet been created. It's just a number that it is showing over here. If you will check in the MU fifty three, it will show you the message that the PR is not exist. I can show you over here. Mm -hmm. See the purchase position does not exist. That means what I have to do right now. I have to just save it. Now I'll be able to check that purchase requisition. I'll show you over there also. Here as well. Now you can see that purchase requisition has been open. Now to create the auto PO, we do have another T code of slash and M. E59 that we have to follow the process and we don't have to do anything just to enter the, the requisition number yeah yeah just enter the purchase requisition and execute enter purchase group oops i think the purchase group has been uh, missing in the metal master Let's check it out whether the purchase group has been maintained in the metal master or not. Uh, here it is a material of mine. Let me check it out. M one zero two. Basis data. Basis data. No. Purchase group. See the purchasing group has become the three D two and the seven. Not to worries. Again, I am done. the purchase requisition has been generated so i'll have to change in the purchase requisition or self also Internal number assignment is not defined. Please uh, uh, enter the number. Now what we have to do? The purchase division is this. The internal number is not yet defined. That means uh, you know why such kind of error is coming. I'll let you know. See, this is a very important. You know. Because I wanted to show you that uh, what are the uh, configuration is missing from uh, that particular part that we need to assign uh, before uh, you know uh, before creating of such things. Because uh, see the uh, the auto document type is the NB and uh, I have not yet maintained the number range uh, for the NB. Uh, see that's an error message is giving internal number range assignment is not defined. So what I have to do slash n. O L M E will have to go 
um, what is the purchase order uh, first of all let's check it out the different document type type and be right no internal number range has been assigned Out the number in 44, I can give no 44. The same we can give under 61. Enter valid external number in okay. No worries. Save it. That has been already saved. Now, what I have to do again, I'll go to M59. The same purchase execution I'll enter. Hope that the PO will create. If it is not, see the purchase order has been created. So these are the missing part that I have not in hollowed uh, to maintain the number in because uh, the system automatically choose the standard purchase or a standard purchase order document type that NB the system always used to prefer this if we need the external document that uh, what uh, you know uh, we don't want the nb that the system used to generate so this is having some different configuration and uh, we'll have to go through the mrp group and the mrp area this is having certain you know uh, configuration that we will do in the later video but as you can see that the purchase order has been created so i hope uh, whatever I have tried to explain to you that uh, you have got the point and uh, if uh, I hope <laughs> whatever the point I have tried to explain you that how can you overcome with the runtime errors if you will see such kind of errors you can immediately resolve see in the error itself the system used to define that what kind of error it is uh, and based on that uh, we can uh, solve uh, in the meantime that's what I have did right now. So I hope you have liked the video and if you like the video, please do uh, hit on the like button and please do subscribe my channel so that uh, you will get the update while I'll upload the new video. And uh, I'll really prom I'm really promising you guys, I'm giving you such kind of content in the runtime. I'll, whatever the error I'll face, I'll solve in the runtime itself. So thank you. Thanks for today. Okay.